troll for your thoughts? <laughs> Hey everyone, I know, it's been a while, I know, I know, sorry, just been a bit um, tied up lately, um, plus the computer's going to be tied up too, so, sorry again, so, how's everyone been doing? Good? Cool? Comment below, tell me. Um, also, I'll uh, just come back from counselling, it's kind of like to get up, um, yeah, a bit sad, a bit tired, what are you going to do? Um, today, um, I also yeah, drank some V, so it might be a little bit hyper. I'm sorry in advance if I seem a bit hyper, but hey. Um, not much today that I want to talk about. Um, maybe about K-Rod and his uh, lovely uh, language he uses on his little video on YouTube that's mega popular at the moment. Um, I think it's rather funny, it's hilarious, and I hope the bugger gets back in. I really want K-Rod back because I think the red-headed... Um, McDonald's Queen, I uh, really want her gone because I think she's really crap at what she's done. She's made a mess of government for our first lady prime minister. She's really stuffed it up for the feminine, you know, establishment, and it's not really fair on all the other people. So, I really want her gone. I hope the leadership tosses her out and puts K Rod back in the job because. He deserves it. Even though he's really good as a um, foreign minister, I think he's really good because he knows so many languages. Um, you know, I feel sorry for the poor guy trying to talk in like, another language, and he's getting really frustrated, and he swears up about it. So, um, I agree with everything Paul K. Rudd had to say in that poor little video of his. Um, but um, go K. Rudd. You're natural. You act like you're normal. Kind of like um Obama when you know you know Obama's. Um, you know, he smokes and he's not perfect and, you know, he's a dad and, you know, I like that. I like to see a Prime Minister with a conscience, someone who does things without thinking and is just like the rest of us. That's great. I'm so glad because no one voted Gillard in. No one. No one voted her in. Well, she shoved herself in there. I'm not happy with her. Anyway, you feel differently or... Whatever, comments below, that'll be good. Look forward to seeing that. Oh, and don't forget to share me and pass me along, because I'm a little low on numbers. I need friends. I'm sad, I need friends. So please, show me show me to everybody and anybody. Show me on your phone, school, whatever. Show me some love, because that's what I'm here for, right? Hey. Um... Also, what I found to be funny this week was they, for the anniversary of Will and Kate's marriage, that Mattel thought it'd be funny to um, make uh, the, um, was it they from Cornwall or whatever? Um, they're, they're gonna be Barbies. Will and Kate, they're gonna be Barbies. I'm thinking, other than royalists and, um, I don't know, little kids with the uh, princess complex. Um, who else is going to buy this? Like, maybe Barbie collectors? People who, um, collect Barbies and said royalists who decorate their houses in royalist wear? Um, I think it's nuts. Like, I've seen the pictures of them and they're quite, um, yeah, they look exactly like them. It's very creepy. And usually Mattel get a little wrong or that the person that they're emulating might not like their face and they might change something on their face or change the way they look because they're a bit, you know, uptight about how they look at a Barbie. But they've really nailed them tight. I thought it was a pretty cool thing. Um, I don't have a picture, but, um, yeah, if you go have a look on the web and just type in Google Images, type in, you know, um, Will and Cake Barbies, oh, my God, they're so cool. I really like them. I don't want one, but I think they're pretty cool. I I'd, I'd, I'd give them, like, a 9 out of 10 in the way of the way they look. They're pretty smashing, and they look how they looked. <laughs> yeah, um, when they got married, they looked pretty smashing, and I hope they'd make the carriage or the car to go with, because in that way, you know, you, if you're a little kid playing with them, you can drag them along, that's, that's pretty cool, but, um, other than that, you know, that seems pretty cool. Um, also with the K-Rod thing, I've also got the link below, so you can actually look at the, um, the video yourself, take the check, even though they've been saying it on the news, and you've seen it on the news, you might want to check it. I look yourself and drink it in. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was going to say too. 
Um, yes, I've been watching Anna Green Gables again. Can't get enough of that show. I really can't get enough of Anna Green Gables. It's a good book, and it is a good um, TV movie, telemovie, but you get hooked in that kind of thing. Pretty good show. It's pretty old, but it's pretty good at the same time. Yeah. Anyway, at the moment, my dad's away, so that's cool. Happy about that, because I get time alone. Except for my uncle, who woke me up this morning. Yay. Um, oh yeah, I still don't know about these pearls. I don't know who sent them. I wear them because they make me feel cool. <laughs> I like them. Um, if you know anybody who in the hell gave me these pearls, this would be, like, wonderful and great. I, because I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go, um, because I haven't got much more to talk about, really. Um, yeah, if you want to tell me something about the week, or maybe have an idea for a, a video on YouTube, or, I don't know, just want to say something, because you're a troller. Like this guy. Yeah, the troll, yes. Um, <laughs> um, comments below, share, I'm on Facebook, and I'm on Twitter. Did I say that? Twitter's for losers, I don't have Twitter. <laughs> no, but I'm on um, Google+, Plus, so check me on Google+, Plus and check me out on the Facebook. Um, I'm just going to go. Alright. Ta-ta for now. Bye.